What's up, you guys? It's AJ Cali Productions back to you guys with another unboxing review. This time of the Mayfix Batman v Superman Batman figure. Picked this up at my local comic book store, uh, Bedrock City Comics. Pretty good place. Uh, traded in some figures. Got this for about twenty bucks after everything. So yeah, really excited to open up this packaging because today I just received notice that my Hot Toys Batman v Superman Batman figure is getting delayed until probably mid or late October. I'm very, very sad about that. I was really, really hoping for that figure this month, to be honest. I, w I was, like, really, like, gushing over it. I saw that Optobotomus uh, did a review of it, and I loved his review, and I love that figure, along with Clipper King and Dawn Knight 3-3. I was really excited for that figure, but for it to get delayed, to, for it to get delayed another month is very, very sad for me, because I really love Batflick, to be honest, but I had to work with this in the meantime, but let's go ahead and check out the packaging, here we have the standard uh, Mayfix open packaging and things like that, you have the Batman with a whole bunch of interchangeable hands and uh, four accessories, cool little picture of Batman at the bottom. Metacom Toys on the side you have a cool picture of Batman on the side all posed up Mayfix number 17 Then the back of the packaging you have the other fit you have the figure in some other poses with uh, I Don't know what kind of language that is. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just say Japanese or Chinese. I don't know, but yeah Top of the packaging you have the Batman v Superman logo right there bottom just have warning labels and the price right there didn't get it for that price like I said on the side you have another picture of the Batman so let me go ahead and open this up and check out the figure so before we start talking about the figure let's get into the accessories first I'm gonna go over his hands first he comes with like a set of uh, open palm hands which is pretty cool nice detailing in there the wrinkles the brass knuckles pretty cool detailing on him there's like little sculpted lines inside as you can see right there which is awesome even there's a brass knuckle right there on the thumb and then he comes with a pair of kind of like I think this is like a little trigger finger hand as you can see this one's a little bit more open also comes with uh, kind of wrinkles and lines and things like that and the knuckles so yeah this is I think this is for the uh, for the smoke, not the smoke gun, the uh, kryptonite gun, as I should say. And then he comes with like a pair of like uh, like a peace sign or something like that, probably for his batterings, if anything. Cool line work on him. Paint detailing is awesome. And then he comes with like a weird kind of fisted hand with his thumb kind of up for some reason. Uh, it could be for his batterings, but I another hand for his batterings, but I don't know. We'll find that later out in the, in the video. So we have that. And then for his last set of hands, it's kind of like a little, like a little other trigger finger, but more closed. And for his weapons, he comes with his uh, grapple gun. This thing has cool detailing on it. The bottom bottom half is like a hammer piece for him when he's fighting, which is pretty cool. I like the paint detail on this. Everything's sculpted on there nice. Not really messy paint work or anything like that, which is pretty awesome. You get some cool sculpting inside right there line work right there triggers nice everything on that thing is nice then he comes with his own battering pretty sick kind of has like a little uh, glossy finish to it kind of gunmetal which is pretty cool Then he comes with his uh, kryptonite gun. 
and this has good detailing on it I mean it's just a plain black color there's no weathering effect on it or anything like that but yeah it, it's it's just greatly detailed and then he comes with a smoke canister let me see if I can get that for you guys it's right over here just a plain black finish like a little glossy finish not like the uh, kryptonite gun but this also has good t detailing on it with a little uh, ring right there to set it off and the bottom So let's get into the figure itself. And I would like to also mention he comes with his own uh, imported uh, kind of Japanese stand that you see over like some SH Figure Arts figures and Mafex and things like that, which is pretty cool. So let's get into the figure now. Right, so here we have Batman out of the packaging. Has some shiny right there that's bothering me, but get rid of that soon but yeah this is a fantastic figure I was blessed enough not to get the uh, the damage piece right over there the little ball socket it didn't break on me it was very it's not loose but it's it's a little stiff but I was really careful with it and sometimes I don't know my own strength and I tend to break things by accident but in this case I was lucky enough not to break it so yeah so one of the main issues, if you're going to get this figure, Mafex figures are very fragile, so watch out for that. But yeah, this figure is awesome. As you can see, you already see the line work on it, on everything, like the texturing of the suit. You have like a little like a little brown effect that you see throughout the figure, kind of give them like a little dirty battle look or something like that. The detailing on this thing is very, very nice, and I love it. Even the boots have a little line work on them, things like that. The belt is fantastic. You can see the gauntlets right over there on the side. Very, very sick. Comes with the fisted hands, a little extra. I really like the gauntlets on this. It's, it's freaking great. Sucks that I won't get the Hot Toys one, but ah, uh, oh well, I can wait another month, I think. But I mean, I'm not paying 500 to buy someone just reselling it off eBay. That's crazy. But yeah, this is a fantastic figure. You can see the line work in the. Uh, the bat symbol itself too then the face sculpt is pretty it's pretty it's okay it could be a little better but you can really tell that Ben Affleck's in there they should have added like a little uh there's like a little brown not a brown kind of like a you see like a little black I don't know if you guys can see it but there's like a little effect in there that looks like gives them like a little five o'clock shadow but they could have did a better job with that I mean, you can really tell that Ben Affleck's in that suit if they had like a different head sculpt then the back of the figure you have cool little line work there also this is all throughout the figure which is very awesome I really like the boots too they're fantastic but then the cape is like some kind of weird material it's not plastic I don't know what kind of material this is but it's like a little soft material and there's like a little uh little pointy rod in here that you can get to like have it posed up if you want to like curvy or something like that mine's not going to be like that it's going to be like straight down to be honest but yeah it's kind of like a weird cape and it's tethered at the bottom just like the movie it doesn't have like the original like batman with a little uh kind of like the bat skeleton exoskeleton or something like that it doesn't have that it just tethered at the bottom but yeah, this is a great figure. I I just can't get over it. The detailing on it is very fantastic. Right, check it out one more time. And you can check out the belt too. It's very, very awesome. Very movie accurate. I mean, I was, I mean, the movie was okay, but the main thing for me it was Batman in the movie. That's that's what really got me. And Ben Affleck did a very fantastic job in playing Batman, and I was like, fuck it, let me get the Mayfix figure. Fuck it, let me get the Hot Toys figure. 
So yeah, so let's go into the figure's articulation. All right, for the figure's articulation, his head can look down pretty good, and also a little bit up, so he can see like he's like, you will, or something like that if you wanted to. Has a rotation left, left and right. Has a little bit of pivot. It's two joints. It's the head and then it's the neck, which is pretty cool. For his arms, they can move forward and back, but he can barely move that up because it's not hollow or anything. It's sculpted on there, which is uh, pretty sad that you can get the arm just that much up. I mean, Batman, I mean, in case you want to put him in a fighting pose, you have to have that. But it's okay to me. It doesn't really bother me that much, but it could have been better. Has a bicep swivel. Has a double jointed elbows. Moves in really good. His hands can rotate left and right and hinge down and up, which is pretty cool. Same thing with the other hand. He has two points of articulation. A little diaphragm joint. And this, this piece tends to break on people, so be very, very careful. So yeah, you can get like a little movement side to side and things like that. So be very careful. I'm not going to be moving mine that much just because of that. So his legs can move forward that much, but when you take it out of the socket just like that, you can move it down and it can kick more up, but it goes off to the side just a little bit. So be aware of that. He has double jointed uh, knees and they're even sculpted on there, which is awesome. So it gives the figure a great look. No uh, boot rotation, but his uh, feet can look, uh, not look, but uh, turn left and right, hinge down and up, and there is ankle pivot, and he has a toe hinge. So yeah, the only bad articulation is this piece will break on you, so be very, very careful, and the arms could have been better to move up, since he is Batman. Let me see if I can crunch him for you guys. So yeah, he has a good good crunch going forward and a good crunch going back. So here I have Batman next to the Dark Knight Returns Batman. As you can see, the Dark Knight one stands a little bit taller and is a little bit more buffer with mass. So there's that comparison. And then here is the comparison with the uh, Batman v Superman from Mattel. As you can see, they stand about the same height, but this one is better so here's Batman all posed up what I would give the figure is a nine out of half nine and a half out of ten the only thing that could have been better is the quality issue and then the uh, arm issue to make it more have it have it more wingspan other than that if you're a Batman fan you know what screw it you need to get this figure if you see this figure in a comic book store get it ASAP you will not regret it it's an awesome figure I mean, for 50 bucks, you're getting a lot of detail and a lot of accessories as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And if you guys like my videos, go ahead and thumbs them up and subscribe. And follow my Instagram, AJCaliPro underscore. I'll be making a Twitter soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and you guys have a blessed week.